Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm here with Fake Grand Order because there are 15 hours left of this event. Uh, less by the time you're watching this. I'll be releasing this early, but regardless, there's not a lot of time left. I need to get to grinding. I need to get my lotto on. So that's what we're doing. And now let's get in here and get to it. Because I need to get all 10 for sure. Where is... Come on. Don't tell me now that... This the... Yes, this is the... This is what I need. Um, this is my current setup. Uh, boy go boom. Ishtar go boom. Bunyan bunch em up. All good stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, I haven't had... I've been very busy with, like, life. So it's been tough to actually grind. Um, this specific thing. It's really annoying because, like, I think that when this event released, they had to... They should have just had all freaking all of them available right away i don't understand it's a rerun who cares there's only seven days don't be stupid um especially because like i don't know man like i need to get my grind on immediately and you're preventing me from grinding and it's really dumb and it's really stupid and all the grind nodes suck ass so stella also we finally have um noble phantasm we've had him for a couple of like days now but this is the first video i've had with them on and i'm glad that the first person you ever saw the translate translation for was erosh's um stella it's fantastic now at this point you're thinking oh god i've fucked i've messed up completely i was supposed to activate this stupid move because this stupid move only lets you have it um one turn after if it wasn't for the fact that it was on a cooldown of uh three turns and gave you 50 percent it'd be complete trash uh but i digress it's, a, it's only good because it's three turns. If it was anything less, this stupid-ass move would not be... And if it was not 50%, this stupid-ass move would not um, warrant any sort of reaction at all. Uh, okay, let's see. I think she's still got this. Girl, you better have freaking got this, or I swear to God. I will hurt you down. I can three turn with this specific setup, but I started the video off super, like, trying to figure it out. Um... So I might not be able to three-turn it, but then next next video, I'll totally three-turn it. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. She needs that 50% boost to actually kill him in one hit. Um, yeah, otherwise it's just down to 50. Aw, oh, Bunyan, you were so close. Oh, that's annoying. Damn it, Waver. I should have had Bunyan be last. Thanks, useless last Ishtar, for activating your dumb move right after it would actually be useful. There we go. And I'm hard on Ishtar because she needs, she needs to be constantly scolded. She gets too much of a pass, and I'm here to stop it. And speaking of pass, you should pass by that like button and give it a like. There you go. Next, and let's keep going on, this is the final node. Now again, if Ishtar had done her job and... Had, <laughs> I'm being too mean right now. Let me, let me head back because people really care about Erish. Damn it, I said the wrong person. People, I just came back from work and I'm very tired. Um, if you can't tell, that's why I'm a little bit loopy right now. There we go. That should actually be enough, I think. Ishtar's still very strong and so is um, Bunyan. So it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's see if I'm wrong, though. Yeah, yeah, they should get this. Come on, Ishtar. Oh, you useless piece of garbage. Look at this garbage woman pretending to be that she's anything more than garbage. Oh, your dumb 50% thing. Oh, I can't wait to use that the next turn, even though it's over. I hate her. I hate her. No, I'm just kidding. I don't hate her. She's a perfectly fine girl. Nothing wrong with her. No, that's actually a lie. There's a lot of things wrong with her. That's why I don't like her. Um, but she's a nice girl. All, all in all, I approve. She's not that bad. Go watch uh, Babylonia. She gets better. She gets too, she got too much um, crap, I'd say. The reason I don't like her is not because she's useless. It's that I think she's kind of a brat, and I don't like that about her. She got too much of the brat of Rin and none of the good stuff of Rin. The divide in between Ishtar and her sister is about 50-50, which I'm saying is that Ishtar got all the bad qualities that I don't like. So that makes it so that her sister is automatically better in my eyes. Let's go into it. Tell me about how you feel about Ishtar and Erish. I understand she's well-loved, and she should be, because she's extremely, like, um, 
like easy she's got that kind of personality where she's very rough but when she's very like what is that called is it dairy soon it is a soon dairy um if i'm saying that wrong i apologize i didn't mean to uh, say it wrong but she's got that quality to her so i understand completely why people like her like um this is slowly turning into me trying to justify my hatred for her but it's not i don't actually really hate her all that much hate is a strong word i just think she's annoying <laughs> there you go that's the right thing especially after summer too that's why um summer ishtar is in jail where she deserves to be because it's the most dumb thing that she basically screwed everything up and then everyone kind of goes ha 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 you almost completely screwed up the world but thank god you didn't thanks ishtar it's like what go to hell she's in jail for the next year or if I pull her sister. If I pull her sister, she can be uh, let out early, but if I don't, then in jail, she stays. Okay, now this is the actual rotation. Now that I've actually remembered, because again, the reason she actually didn't KO last turn was 100% my fault, not hers. I'll say that now. Wasn't her fault, it was me. I can own up to my mistakes. Um, she should be able to kill this dragon, no problem. Again, she needs this skill. This skill is like, <laughs> I was trash talking it this entire video but this video the this skill is actually extremely good three turns 50 percent even though it's the next turn it's insanely good and for this specific like setup where like you're three turning it you can always have it be like she gets her 50 percent np in the next turn she gets to use it and be super stupid strong and it works out perfectly because um you just have to hope that arash gives you the good um the good reset on his uh, destruction is what I'll say. Like if you don't get the good um, destruction, I think you kind of get a little screwed over. Uh, if you like, for example, if you get only waiver cards, that really sucks. And I don't think you'll be able to kill the dragon in one go if with that specific team set up. She needs to be the. Um... Oh, I also forgot to give this to Bunyan, didn't I? If I did, that also explains why she wasn't able to kill so easily. Let's go in. And of course, if you have never, if you're someone who's like, oh, uh, why use Bunyan? She's a one star. She sucks. Here she is finally proving why she's so amazing. Look at that quick noble phantasm, basically killing two and then boom, Santa altar, done in, done out. Let's get the hell out of here. Boom. Yes. And now she's, she's bond level seven. Let's go. I love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, I should be putting um, units I actually want to bond with in the background. Too late now. No time to talk. Only grind. No talk. Just grind. Well, now you can see. Everyone just basically saw what time it is right now. Which explains why I'm so damn out of it. And again, I apologize if um, you're not enjoying the video because of my loopiness and I'm completely forgetting everything. To be honest, like, oh, come on. Oh, Kendrick. Oh, no, yours is perfectly good. Let's get in here. Thank you very much. All the friends who have helped me out with their Ishtars, you're the true MVPs out here. You're, um, you don't deserve to have the girl you love be so wrongfully mean when she's actually doing a fantastic job at grinding. Now I'm walking back my video. This is my apology video. I'm going to release an apology video uh, to Ishtar saying, I'm sorry. I was too hard on you. You don't deserve all the hate. You only deserve about 25%. That's all. That's really all. Only 25% hate. We're back at it again. Remember, mana burst. 50%. Fantastic move. Boom. And throw it out. <sighs> so yeah, tell me how, how your grind's been going, man. I can't wait for what is what's next i think the christmas event is next but i also think um i was about to say agartha it's not called that it's called salem i can't wait for salem i think i'm gonna add, salem might actually legitimately be the first full playthrough of a story event i'll do for fate just because i love it so much i love not the story itself i love because i don't know what happens in the story i keep myself completely blind for that stuff but i love um lovecraftian like not his books, because I haven't read them all. Um, because they can be kind of a rough read sometimes with their, you know, interesting ways 
of saying racist things. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that they're fantastic order books and all that stuff, you know, obviously. Good with the bad. Um, but I love the basic world and mythos he created. I think it's fantastic, and that's why I'm always just like, no. I'm always, I always fall on the side of, like, we need to keep Lovecraft around. Uh, one, because he was a product of his time. He was a very scared man. He never makes any qualms about the fact that all his fears come from, like, um, fear itself. And I think a lot of actual modern-day writers have taken what his base concepts are and have actually um, improved upon it. And the good writers are able to be like, well, this specific part of him where he was fearful, let's write about, like, the racial issues around it and also still tell an extremely compelling story. Um I think that's great, and I can't wait to see, uh, basically, fate deal with none of it, because they're not going to. They're going to be dealing with, I think, witch trials. I think that's accurate. Oh man, Ishtar is going to be the one to finish off Santa, so she's going to be the MVP at the end of this video. So I can't wait for it. I hope you. I'm also going to try experimenting, trying to do 10-minute videos for those story ones. Because let me God, let me tell you, there are people who love. Love is a strong term. There are people who will gladly watch my 30 minute long fate videos, but I think in more sizable chunks, 10 minutes a day, like, um, it's a little bit easier to, sw uh, to swallow and read is what I'm saying. So we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. And with that, that's the end of this video. I'm going to be keeping grinding off screen, but that's it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you got some comments, tell me what you're doing. Tell me how your current uh, grind's going. We ain't got much time. So if you're grinding for this Santa Alter box, keep grinding for the lotto. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video I do. Goodbye. Have a good night.